check the transmission fluid? Good, yeah. It's not hot, though. Well, we can get her hot in a hurry. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm here in Black Dog, Alberta. Never heard of that place, but that's where my brother lives. We're working on his K5 Blazer, getting it ready to do some trail running. Doesn't need too much stuff. It needed a heater core, cause that was leaking. A couple months here, he'll need heat for that. So get that taken care of. Uh, his hood hinges and hood got all messed up. So we're gonna swap in some new gear from that. Brand new heater core. He also robbed the heater box out of another truck. So the other one was kind of melted and stuff. Well, here's this blazer, 70, 79. 79 blazer. He's got 40 inch LTBs. He's got one ton gear front and back, gear drive transfer case. Turbo 350 tranny. And a week 350. She ain't got much for jam, but she'll get us down the road. She'll get us through the woods. This 410s or 456s? 456. Nice. Rear locker and front air B locker, onboard air. And it's got the uh, high steer with a hydro boost. Is it hydro boost? No. Just hydro assist. It's just hydro assist. Uh, this one's running vacuum brakes. It is four wheel disc, but I'm just running vacuum brakes on this one. I didn't feel the need to put hydro boost braking in this one. Yes, sir. Looks like I'm gonna have to change this cable it's seized. It also looks like it caught on fire in the when it melted. Okay, my bro's got the uh, heater controls there. He's gonna swap that in. The other set that he took out here, one of the ends on it was all seized up and he said, why fuck with it when we got like a bunch of other ones there. So we went back to the parts truck and grabbed that. He's installing it. This thing's gonna be mint when he's done. Minty. Oh, yeah. Minty condition. Then he's got the heater box controls all hooked up. We're gonna. Wedge this bitch back up inside of her and she'll have working uh, heater. All the controls will work. These ones here, they're just like mint. They're that cab you pull them out of, they're, they're mint. Like I said, the other ones I think may or may not have caught fire. There is some electrical questionability with this unit. Three of these. I don't know where that, oh, you got the ratchet, don't you? A quarter inch drive. Yeah. Okay. I got one on. Uh. This will almost be too nice to wheel. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. No, Sesame Street. Nope. I've watched it on Sesame Street. I'm telling you right now, it's a show that came on after Sesame Street. No. That's what I always thought too. Like the pinball machine, man. Yeah, I know, but it's a show that came on right after Sesame Street. What is it? I can't play something. No. Nope. Yes, I'm telling you. It's one of those things that you didn't know until you were 50 years old. I'm 50 and I don't know it. There we have it. It's all wired up, hooked up. We have a working heater core. We top off the old antifreeze. It's got the vice grips off the heater core lines now. We're laughing. Now we need hood hinges and a hood. Check the fluids. We tighten the fender up. We still need a battery hold down. Load the wench. Yep, receiver wench. Aye, aye, aye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here, you got some hood bolts? Uh, yeah. <laughs> My old hood. Fuck me. Oh, where? Hello? Hello? Now, are you guys something just to interest? I didn't know this, but K5s have a little hole in the hood there with that three bolt bracket on the top of it or cover. And it sets down over top of that to kind of just help it keep it from flexing so bad where the old blazers twist up pretty bad. And this new hood we're gonna add doesn't have that hole, so we're gonna make it. You got a hole saw that size? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
you go. Yeah, he got it. Is that hot? Yes. <laughs> Here in Alberta, we use self toppers for everything. Oh, it sounds like it's self stripped. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it really hooked up. Yeah, that doesn't really sound good, does it? No. But now you know where the holes are. They can just be your pilot holes. Yeah. Let me give this a whirl. Oh, yeah. Mint. Perfect. So we're ready for install. That'll work. Si, senor. It doesn't line up good, but it pops. That rust looks mint, eh? Oh. With the moss growing on it. I like the thick <laughs> orange too. Yeah, but it opens and closes, that's all I need. Yeah. So we got our battery hold down, ground's hooked back up. This thing's mint now, like we got no worries at all. What do you do now? Check the transmission fluid. We can get her hot in a hurry. <laughs> a nice exhaust leak. I hear that tick. That flex pipe is in stock. I, I seen that flex pipe. Yeah, that's custom. I did that myself. The dent's in it custom too? Yes. yes. Give her a rev, see if it comes off that fast idle. <laughs> It's already making heat. Oh, easy, easy, don't blow her up. There she goes. She nice runs like a top, but she says nice power. Smooth. Yeah, but you got the gearing for it. Yes. In low range, this thing would be just torquey. No. This is the exact opposite of torquey. Yeah, I guess I'm not reusing. No, I don't have one here. All right. Yeah. Ah, there it goes. Yeah. There. So Nathan's got a rod in that's bad on his tie rod. So he's gonna swap that up. She had some dirty ass play in it. And then we're gonna do a redneck alignment on it and she'll be good to go. All right, so we're doing the old redneck alignment here. And 69 and a half. So we split the difference. 69 and a quarter. 69 and a quarter. So that's exactly straight. I'll go like that. That gives me my eighth inch. Perfect. All right, the alignment's complete. It should track good and the truck's ready to go. We just gotta put the tires on. Load the wench. Load the wench into the receiver. Time. Yes, sir. We don't need no aluminum wheels around here. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Well. Get in this freaking thing. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. 
Or is the rest of your thingamajigger there? <laughs> she go! Both the bear? Yeah. Is it big or small? Like, so it's not that big. Is that a Yep. It's all done. Yes, sir. Handle's a lot better right now, I'll tell you that. It was really warm before, so. Well, consider it's a. Wash 40 gravel road, doing pretty good. Yeah, but it was really loose before. I know, I know, no, 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 no. Yeah. I definitely realized that I had front end issues. That kingpin was a little loose and that tie rod. That's a dirty old hole there. Fluid works. Oh yeah, she's she's crazy. that body mount what's that tick oh that's a front dry shop because it's got a chevy one in it not a dodge one what are you talking about dodge seriously man the newer dodge 3500 front dry shafts i thought you said go ford well ford or dodge are the same same uh universal Yeah, that's swamp. Like, you can see the standing water, it's all green and shit in there. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, that's just got disaster written all over it. <laughs> Something else might be loose. It's hard to say exactly what it is, but. That's something stupid that I would do. I'd be like, oh, look, cattails, let's go for a rent. No, you stay the fuck away from the cattails. Anything with cattails is a hard pass. Whoa, whoa, the power, the power. Jesus! <laughs> Set you back. That's power. <laughs> I think it's at least got 140 horse. I'm pretty sure a Volkswagen engine has more power. Good thing it's geared good. Heavy. You think it's good? It's good.
All right, you guys, that's a wrap for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it if you made it this far in the video. And uh, just to let you guys know, the next video we're going to have is wheeling the Ford Killer with the K5 Blazer. So check that out. So like, comment, subscribe, whatever turns you crank. We'll see you in the next video.